Hey everyone, this is my guide to the third boss of Neo 2, Yatsu no Kami. To begin, I'm going to start by explaining the boss's room. In the area leading up to the boss, there are three snake statues. Destroying them will incrementally remove poison pools from the boss room until you've destroyed all three, removing all poison pools in the boss room. Now for the boss. When staying at mid to short range, he tends to shove his snake arms into the ground, causing them to appear at your location just a moment later. If you run to the boss, this allows you to deal damage to those snake arms, potentially killing them and doing heavy key damage to the boss. His move that gives the biggest opportunity to deal damage is when he starts to slide across the ground. When he first begins, he has a burst counter window, and every time he turns, he has another burst counter window. When taking you to the Dark Realm, if you haven't killed his snake arms yet, they pop off and begin shooting poison at you and attempting to grab you. Killing these will stagger Yatsu no Kami as well as doing HP and key damage. Just like his snakes, Yatsu no Kami can create poison pools that will stay on the ground for about 15 seconds. Attacking the large crystal on Yatsu no Kami's head will stagger him and do a large amount of key damage. Yatsu no Kami will attempt to grab you by first wiggling its head and then lunging at you attempting to wrap its body around you. This ability can simply be outrun. Yatsu no Kami has two tail attacks, one where he brings it down in a forward slam and another where he wiggles it before bringing it around in a full 360. When emptying Yatsu no Kami's stamina and performing the special attack to deal a lot of damage, he will have a rising wake up hit. Shortly after rising, Yatsu no Kami will regenerate his snake arms, allowing him to attack with them once again. Yatsu no Kami has three separate abilities to form needles. He can form a horizontal line of non-homing needles, a horizontal line of homing needles, and a burst counterable AoE that shoots out homing needles. Some quick tips for this boss is to use the Ipon Datara Soul Core and the Enki Soul Core. This will allow you to attack the crystal on his head, even with his head in the air. The safest ways to deal damage to this boss are staying at about mid to long range, waiting for him to shove his snake arms into the ground or start sliding across the ground, which both create large windows to deal damage. And that about wraps up my guide for Yatsu no Kami. Thanks for watching, and if this helped you out, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more, as I'll be making more of these at least every day, alright? Thanks everybody, see you next time.